school itself, and we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Uh, I'm out for a walk. Here I am in Williamsburg, uh, Florida. Going out for a walk. I got to get across the street somehow. I got to be careful. Right now it looks okay, but I think I can get across the street. I think I can make it across here without getting run over. Don't see any cars coming right away. Uh, I love the lakes here, as you know, in Central Florida. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful place. Um, and, and, of course, as I said, I live in Williamsburg, Florida. Here I am at the edge of this suburban neighborhood, Williamsburg. There's the proof that I am where I say I am. I wouldn't lie to you, you know. And, well, I'm, I'm going up that way. I'm walking up that way because, uh, well, you know why. I'm headed towards a particular uh, lake and there's uh, alligators in it. And uh, um, last time I was there, I didn't see any. And I want to give it another chance because this is sort of a hobby of mine. Um, tracking down the alligators. When I left the house, um, when I left the house where I live, and Ed and Lourdes, the, uh, the two owners of the house, were sitting on the couch. I said, I'm going looking for alligators. And Ed said, y you know, you might want to hope the alligators aren't looking for you. Could be true. I mean, but nevertheless, I mean, there's, uh, there's other obstacles. There's other dangers in the world. Here it says, smile, bad dog. Right here. If I was to climb over this fence, uh, I might face a more vicious uh, uh, obstacle, a more vicious predator than your standard uh, Florida alligator. Anyway, so yeah, now I am a 67 years old. I never talked about my age so much. You know, when I was younger, you don't mention your age. You don't think about it, you don't mention it, whatever, but when you get a little older, Especially when, you know, your things start falling apart. <laughs> you start, you know, saying, well, you know, this is something I need to think about. And because, you know, I don't just think, I talk, I'm a big mouth. Uh, I accidentally paused the video. Uh, what I was saying, if you don't want to, you know, listen to this old guy spouting nonsense, uh, you know, you can always change, uh, you know, just the internet. Go to somebody else's video, somebody who's young and vibrant and all that stuff. Am I not vibrant? Somebody told me uh, yesterday, somebody said yesterday, because I mentioned I had just turned 67. And they said, you know, don't you think, and they were talking to someone else. So they said, don't you think he's doing really good for 67? I don't know if that was pandering or not, but uh, now I, I think I'm okay because. You know, I do work in a retail pharmacy. And when people come to pick up their medicines, we have to make darn sure we have the right person. And then give the wrong medicine to the wrong person. That could be catastrophic. So uh, we check it uh, by their name, first and last, and their date of birth. So everyone who comes to the counter uh, to get their medicine, I ask them for their date of birth. And, you know, and I see people Younger than me. Now, I was born. Are you ready for this? I was. Are you ready for this? I was born in April 20th. That's right, 420. I know. I know. So I know what some of you guys are thinking. But 420, 1956. Uh, Ike Eisenhower was president when I was born, and uh, that was a long time ago, people. But you know what? I'm happy as heck to be alive. I'm so darn happy to be alive. To be able to go for a walk in this beautiful world. Look at that beautiful blue sky behind me. And, uh... Where were we? Where were we going with that? Oh, yeah. Uh, born in a long time ago. But people will come to the counter and they tell me uh, how old they are. And I see people... 10, 15, 20 years younger than me. And they look old as heck. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm thinking to myself, 
you know, this person really hasn't taken care of themselves or uh, whatever. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty, I think I'm fortunate. I don't think I look young by any means, uh, but I'm happy to look as well as I do at this age. So, um, okay, there's a lot of noise on this particular road, so I'm going to pause the video and I'll get back to you in a little bit, okay? Because this is really noisy here. Um, a lot of little lakes here. I appreciate it. I love it. I love living in Central Florida. And, uh, yeah. So, I'll talk to you again in a little bit. Going to pause this rascal, okay? There's a highway out there if you want to look at something interesting. up there where um, if I can make it up there uh, there's a you know there's an opening between the two sides of this overpass uh, I might give it a shot if it just doesn't work out if I fall and get hurt and go to the hospital I'll probably edit this out or maybe I won't just for entertainment value but uh, here we go Goodness, this is not easy. Oh my goodness. Help me Lord, help me Lord. Woo! Wow, you know what? I made it up here. I can't believe but it's taller than I thought. Anyway, it's taller than I thought. Woo! But I'm at the top. That's right. Where's all the cars? The cars are on the other side. All right. And it's starting to rain a little bit too. Okay, now I gotta wait, make my way back down. <sighs> Told you I'm 67, but it's cool. And also I have an injured hand. I sprained my hand. Uh, I've talked about it in recent videos. I ain't gonna talk about it anymore. I'll just tell you real quick. Hit by a car while riding my bike, jumped off my bike, rolled down the road, and got a sprained hand. Now I gotta make my way back down. This stuff when you were younger, uh, when you're young, no big deal, man. You get up, you get you're riding your bike, you get hit by a daggone bulldozer or whatever, you just get right back up, dust yourself, and you keep going. Get a little older, not as easy. And now I'm gonna make my way down the hill. Are you ready? You want to go along with me? Okay, you asked for it. Let's, let's hope and pray for the best. Oh my goodness, here I go. Uh, slowly. Slowly, folks. Ah. Hold your breath, everybody. gosh holy mackerel I made it I made it I am Superman I made it down <laughs> I made it down the hill I am mighty I am mighty and that's all there is in Spanish fuerte y feroz fuerte y feroz como el león strong and ferocious like a lion by golly, that's me. You guys should know that. You've been watching my videos all these years. Like some of you have. It's starting to rain a little bit. I do have an umbrella in my backpack behind me here. Here's another lake over here. I like this one. It's pretty. Uh, you know, it's just a lake beside a highway. Um, but that's not the lake where we're headed for. Uh, so I'm going to pause this again. And I'll let you know when we get to the lake with the menacing, mighty, powerful, and destructive uh, alligators. Very shortly. See you in a little bit. Well, I'm back at a, a lake in which I have seen uh, a few alligators before. Unfortunately, uh, well, 
fortunately or unfortunately uh, depends on how close they get but I don't see any right now I remember the last time there was a mother alligator and her baby alligators and they disappeared the mother and their babies disappeared into this area over here so I don't want to get too close to that area over there because if they are still there the mother alligator would be fiercely protective of those babies um, I see stuff out there it might be an alligator but I don't know for sure that it is I just see like little clumps like this and it could be anything um, so and it's probably not uh, the alligators they hide very well they're very secretive they have their own little secretive society in any case it's a beautiful day and I like being out here by this lake and uh, I guess I won't uh, be filming much anymore because uh, there's no action. So I know you guys want action, you want action, you want to see the mighty giant reptiles. Instead you get to see me, uh, the mighty five foot six human being, uh, you know, complaining about uh, how old he is and stuff, but you know, that's cool. It's all cool. It's all cool. I'm happy. <laughs> So I'll let you go, and uh, thanks for tuning in, people. You're awesome. You're my friends. I appreciate you. And if anything else happens, I'll, uh, I'll turn the camera back on and I'll let you know. In the meantime, keep smiling. Uh, stay happy, stay strong, and stay young, people. Stay young. It's easy to do. I found that out. Well, it's not that easy, but it's somewhat easy. But you gotta, you gotta, you gotta devote yourself to that, you know, you gotta, you gotta, yeah, you gotta mean it, okay? <laughs> Alright, bye-bye, my friends. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs>